Alright, in this video I'll show you how to do the first few rounds of the body of the Sleepy Unicorn pattern. Um, I have the second hind leg I created. This is the my working yarn still attached to it. This is the first hind leg I made. Um, you could go ahead and weave this in or you can wait till later. Either one is fine. Okay, so to start, this should already be closed. So to do that, you just go through the next stitch as if, as if you were gonna keep going on the round, but then go through the stitch behind it as well to close it. One, two, three, four. Okay, so now our leg is closed. These do count as um, single crochet in our count that I have listed after row one. Then you will chain five. Okay, now don't twist that chain. Pick up your second hind leg and now close it wherever you think it looks good. It doesn't matter because it should be circular, um, symmetrical all the way around. Then without twisting your chain, you'll go through the two stitches to close the top. I like to work this in with me, um, but you don't have to. You could secure it another way. So I'm in, yarn over, do a regular single crochet. That was one. Now we'll do two. And I'm just working that tail in with me, so I just leave it setting there and just work on over it. Two. Three. Four. Okay. So now you have... Make sure this isn't twisted. Now you have your second hind leg closed. Chain five and four single crochet. So four single crochet, five chains, four single crochet. Now that's round row one of the body. Now row two is chain one, then turn your work this way, like you're turning the pages of a book. And now you're going to increase in the first stitch right here. So one, Two. And now single crochet in the next three stitches that should be on top of the leg. Now we've reached the chains and you'll do one single crochet in each of the chain spaces across. It can be kind of hard to see with this um, plush yarn, but you can feel it, feel around with the hook to find them. So you should have five single crochet across the chain. Sometimes I use the hook this way to hook it with this plush yarn because so, it's so slippery. That was two, three, It gets easier after this, I promise. <laughs> Four and five in the last chain, if I can make it work with me. It also helps if you're really struggling with this part, go back and make that chain space looser. Like don't pull your chain so tight that will help a little bit. So there's five, and then one, two, three single crochet across the top of the leg, and then increase in this last one. You should have one spot left. Increase, okay, so that's the end of row two. Now in the third part, we're gonna start working in rounds, and to do that, we're gonna have to go on the front and back loops. So. You will chain one, turn your work just like we did before, like you're turning the pages of a book. Now this time I'm gonna work on what's the front loops right now and do what is described as row three or round three. Now we're working in rounds. 
So normally I, if I was gonna do a single crochet, I would go through right here. And sometimes I do still find that just so I can drop that back loop easier and just get the front loop like that. So that's where I wanna do an increase. And now continuing, I like to find both loops, drop the back loop so I can work in the front loop only. And we're gonna do 14 single crochet across. Thirteen, and there is fourteen. Okay, so now working back here is a little bit tricky. Um, you're going to work. I'm sorry, I turned my work. I didn't chain one. I just did fourteen increase right here, fourteen across. Now turn your work this way because we're gonna be working around here to create a spiral like that. So this part is probably the most difficult part of the whole pattern, but it's really just because you're fighting with the yarn. Um, it's hard to see, but if you can get past this, it's home stretch after this. So we were in the, what was the front loops from here. Now when we flip it over, it was what was the back loops, but from our current perspective where we're looking, it looks like the front loops. So we're gonna find the first loop like I said I like to dig with my hook like that and I like to push down the single crochets I just made push them down back like that and I found it so I'll do an increase right here and continue along with 14 single crochet one again I'm pushing that down and it kind of helps the back loops to pop up and then grab it with my hook two, three, four, Can you up here? no ma'am, let me finish this video please, sorry guys my daughter's here, <laughs> six, no, seven, I'm it's gonna be a unicorn, loop kind of likes to hide so dig in with the hook you can see it but it's just slipping off it got a little tight in my last round also if you have a yarn needle on hand that can be handy to pull up these pesky loops when they don't want to come up for you and of course I didn't bring one up here to film this so here let me get it off camera where I have a better angle Mommy, this is the purple. Yep, that's a purple marker. There we go. I got it. And single crochet. There. So now you have a little flap starting here. And then to just continue around um, into round, row, yeah, round four, you'll just go in here, like start creating your spiral. So there I have two loops on my hook and I'll just continue with round four and after that it's pretty self-explanatory. I would put a stitch marker in right here to mark the beginning and end of every round. Hope that helps you with starting the body. After this it's just a good continuous spiral all the way up. <laughs> 